So I've been editing full time for seven years. I've edited a total of 500 videos for YouTubers you likely know the names of or documentaries that were both on YouTube and TV and a bunch of just random videos in between. It's definitely safe to say I'm no stranger to editing. Despite editing for seven years, something that has been more and more popular in softwares nowadays is text-based editing. And while that is sort of a boring topic, I'll agree with you. I wanna show you what text-based editing is, but also how using text-based editing has helped me edit better stories. So here's the thing, not only does it help you tell better stories, which is arguably the most important and most valuable thing you can learn to do really, really well as an editor, but understanding how to use text-based editing can help you literally save hours of your time as an editor, which we don't have a lot of since projects take a long time. Editing just takes a long time. And at the end of the day, it could really just help you save hours and hours of frustration as well. So much unnecessary hard. But first you really need to like fully understand what text-based editing is. And I say this because while it seems pretty simple and straightforward, I've spoken to a lot of editors and a lot of them have different definitions of what text-based editing is. But essentially stripped down text-based editing, it's also referred to as transcription editing, which is essentially the process of just simply editing video content by changing the video's transcription or the video's text, right? And this paired with AI, has become a super popular and newer thing within editing softwares like Premiere Pro. And you know, in Premiere Pro, it's been fine, I guess, right? However, I just recently switched to DaVinci Resolve. And when I bought the studio version, there was something I realized it had, which was text-based editing, but not just normal text-based editing, at least compared to what I was used. This text-based editing was very intuitive. It was fast, it was clean. It was incredible. For example, in Premiere Pro, I always had the issue of the transcriptions, one taking just super, super long, which defeated the whole purpose of saving me time. And then on top of that, sometimes it would even make Premiere Pro crash. So I felt like I was just never able to use the, the text-based editing feature to its full potential. Not to mention Premiere Pro's text-based editing, it just feels clunky, it feels slow, and it just feels hard to work with, at least my personal opinion is that when it comes to Premiere Pro. Before you Premiere Pro lovers go and rip me a new one in the comments, I was an editor in Premiere Pro for many years. So I, I, I know what I'm talking about when I at least have my own opinions on the software. Now take DaVinci Resolve on the other hand, let's just say their transcription's insane. I really have no other words to describe it. I get this is just a super niche video within the editing space. I mean, I'm talking about text-based editing. <laughs> But those of you who are watching this and have gotten to this point, you know what I'm talking about. Like, especially if you're a DaVinci user, it's just insane. It just, everything just works. It's, it's so nice. DaVinci Resolve has straight up reinvigorated my love for editing. See, it's the, the text-based editing in DaVinci is just super accurate. It's super fast. In fact, I literally transcribed a one hour long documentary. Let that, let that sink in a one hour long documentary because I needed to find just one sentence in that documentary for a project that I knew was somewhere in there. And it literally took, be careful that your minds literally don't explode when I say this. It took 46 seconds to transcribe a one hour doc. In Premiere Pro on the same computer, it would literally crash if I transcribed anything over 10 minutes. I mean, just try to wrap your mind around how insane that is. And just like how much time that saved me because if you don't know, I would have alternatively had to scrub or sift through that full documentary, hoping that I was focusing well enough on that the whole entire time to be able to catch the one sentence I was looking for. It would have been excruciating, it would have been tedious, and it would have been time consuming. Oh, and by the way, if you thought that I read through the whole transcription, the whole documentary, just to find that one sentence that I'm referring to, well, you'd be wrong. All you need to do, and fair enough, it's the same in Premiere Pro, they have a similar feature, but it just works better in DaVinci, is go to the search icon, in the top of the transcription box and just search the keyword that you're looking for and then it'll highlight all the sentences with that keyword in it. So I can literally find things like a short sentence in a one hour long documentary in literally less than 30 seconds. And for the type of editing I do, that's just like, it's simply a game changer, especially because on the contrary to Premiere, DaVinci's layout, it's fast, it's intuitive, it's clean, it's easy to use and it just couldn't be better. Also, another super cool thing I found out, which I don't know if Premiere does it because I was just too afraid to try it because I was afraid that I would just lose my project in Premiere or that it would crash. But in DaVinci Resolve, you can highlight all the clips in your media browser and then transcribe them all at once at the same time, which to me, it's all another just mind blowing things. But how can you actually use this feature to tell better stories? 
because without doing that, the feature, yeah, it's cool, but it's just a feature. One of the most powerful storytelling techniques is opening and closing curiosity loops, right? Those moments in a story where you introduce a question, you introduce a thought, an idea, or, or just something in general that sparks interest and keeps the audience engaged. The idea is to keep them waiting for the resolution of that thing. It's like planting seeds of curiosity throughout the whole video. And that's exactly why, for example, there's been big YouTubers who've worked with me like, hey, what's the secret to retention-based editing? I always say the same thing. It's storytelling. Understanding good storytelling is a secret to retention. And I say that because it's just fundamentally what keeps people watching when you have a good story. But there's a challenge that comes with storytelling, specifically with these opening and closing curiosity loops, as I just mentioned. The hardest part is finding the perfect moment to actually close those loops, right? To give it the payoff. And that's where DaVinci Resolve's text-based editing comes in perfectly. Because with text-based editing, you can easily sift through your dialogue or your voiceover or a clip from a documentary that you're looking through. You can identify the exact moment when you open to story loop, and then you can quickly, very, very quickly locate the perfect clip to actually close that and give that a payoff. For example, just imagine that you introduce a question at the beginning of your video, like what's the secret to telling about our story? And then later on, you wanna actually deliver the answer in a really impactful way, right? Giving this video a little bit of storytelling or a little bit of, you know, I don't know, satisfaction. Instead of scrubbing through hours of footage to find the right take, text-based editing, especially in DaVinci Resolve, it allows you to search for specific phrases, keywords, making sure that that moment that you want to have that payoff or close that curiosity loop, making sure it feels intentional and seamless. Back to the example I was talking about, if I posed a question on, well, how can you tell better stories? And then I talked about something first, what I could do to pay that off, that, that open curiosity loop, is give the answer to the question just later on. And I can find the answer really easily through transcription. Now, this gets a lot more useful and, and helpful for the kind of work I do. I edit YouTube documentaries for a YouTuber. I edit for multiple YouTubers, but for one of the clients I work with, and probably the most time intensive client, it's like Johnny Harris style documentaries, right? And I'm having to sift through a lot of third party like B-roll footage. And when doing so, transcription comes in absolutely perfect. I mean, at, at the end of the day, this feature not only saves you time, it also helps you create more cohesive, more engaging narrative pieces or edits, keeping your viewers engaged, hooked from the start to finish. When you use this tool properly, you can do incredible things. So with that, that power that you now hold in your hands of text-based editing, you're not just cutting clips, but you're crafting stories that flow effortlessly and seamlessly. And at the end of the day, you're becoming a better storyteller you're becoming a better story editor. By the way, as I mentioned a little earlier in this video, I just switched to DaVinci Resolve. I've loved it so far. And I challenged myself to learn the software and edit an actual documentary client project in that same seven days. So there are some big stakes there since it was literally my livelihood on the line. And I documented the whole thing and it was definitely hard, but I learned a lot and I'm glad I did it. The only problem is I've just been working on the edit for the past two weeks because I've been so busy, but that video is gonna come out probably around next week. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Or if you wanna learn how to land your first video editing client without a portfolio, then click on this video right here and watch that next.